Hey everyone, this is going to be a tutorial on how to dual wield on any game that you want, doesn't matter. Um, this tutorial is going to be a tutorial for Crazy Mofo, aka Volcom Stone, aka Crazy Glitchers, aka Pat Toe. Pat Dell. Okay, now what you're going to want for this tutorial is two clips. You're going to want a clip of you doing the no gun trick which can be found anywhere on YouTube and if you don't know how to do that and you don't feel like searching it you can always go into spectator mode but it's gonna have those little buttons in the top corner you can always zoom in on that so you can't see the buttons but it's just easier to do the no gun glitch it'll look a little bit more realistic the other clip you want is just a clip of you just standing still simply holding a deagle nothing else or any other gun you want really doesn't matter as long as you're standing still holding a gun you could do this with a you could do a wield a sniper if you wanted to it'll just take longer to crop to mask okay now the clip that you're gonna want on the bottom is the no gun clip where it's just a blank background and everything else that's the clip you're gonna be moving around in and the top clip is gonna be the one of you holding the gun now you need Sony Vegas Pro to do masking. If you don't have Sony Vegas Pro, you can always do this by Chroma King. If you don't know how to Chroma King, you can always look that up on YouTube. It's the for my tutorial I'm gonna be doing a mask. Now, to mask the gun, so it looks like you're just holding one gun with one hand, which is what you're gonna to wanna to do for the dual wheel to make it look a little bit more realistic. You're going to go down to the bottom left corner of the event pan crop and you're going to click on mask. Now I already have this masked, but it's not that hard to mask. All you got to do is take the pen tool, which is up here. It's called the anchor creation tool, or you can press D to quickly change to it. And just click around like so and edit around the first hand. If you make a mistake when you're editing it, you can always press Control Z to undo it. I did this pretty fast, so it's not going to be much of a good cropping job. But you can. Always, but if you press Control Z or no Control, and you zoom, uh, like move up on the mouse wheel, you'll be able to zoom in and out. It helps to zoom in so you can get into more detail and easily crop out some of the imperfections that are on the hand. Now, if you can see, if you can see this, you'll see that there's one hand and the second hand. So you're holding it with two hands, but you only want to hold it with one hand. So just crap out the other hand like I did. If you did it correctly, you should see something like this right up here. Now go back to your vent pan crop and click on position. Just click on position and move this over to the left you should see your hand on the screen over here moving over to the side don't move it over too far just a little bit now you're going to want to go to your media or er, video effects you're going to scroll down until you get to mirror now click on the mirror so it reflects left My bad. You want it to reflect to the right. You make the mistake of doing that. What I did. Always, you can always go down to Event Effect, click up here, and click Remove. Now reflect to the right. There you go. You can see that I have it reflected to the right. So now it kind of looks like I'm dual wielding. You can move this around to change it if you want to make it look a little bit more realistic the default settings are at 0.5 for the x and y axis now which after you have that done so you can see the dual wield press control c to copy the top clip make sure you have the top clicks uh, clip selected and you can zoom out a little bit on the timeline and hold down control V 
it'll copy that clip over and over and over again depending on how long that your clip was my clip was extremely short so I'm gonna want to copy it over and over and over again and we're almost done there you go it doesn't look too realistic right now because of the way that we had to do this like I said before if you use chroma king it'd be a lot easier to make it look a little bit more realistic but chroma king takes a lot longer this is just something cool that you can mess with your friends with if they're dumb enough to believe you once you're finished, double click right below the bottom of your clips and it should select that whole entire thing. If it doesn't, you can always drag this to select it all. Go to File, Render As. Type in a name. Select your settings and save. Once it's done, you can go watch your clip, upload it to YouTube, mess with people, anything you want. And that's how you do a weird. Thanks.